And Mark continue their fairy tale adventure Euro 2020 after they beat Wales 4 0 in the first last 16 match of the tournament. Goals either side of the break by Kasper Dolberg ensured the Danes progress to the quarterfinals, whilst Atalanta's Joachim Mele scored a wonderful third and Martin Braithwaite capped off the evening with a smartly taken fourth. Another strong and brave performance by Kasper Hulman's team, but a frustrating and disappointing night for Wales, who failed to break them down. Uh, James, we saw a clinical Danish team that seems to be going from strength to strength. Yeah, it definitely is, um, especially after how things ended up for them in the group stages. And uh, I think on, you know, there was a bit of hope for Wales at the start of their start of the game, definitely towards, you know, the really, the first first 15 minutes, let's say, of the game where they seemed to be on top of things. But that really turned around and um, that goal from Kasper Dolberg really just seemed to set the pace afterwards for the rest of the game. Wales, who were pretty much just trying to survive in there. They didn't, they seemed pretty sluggish. They were dropping. Um, there's definitely a loss of confidence, a loss of confidence which they had up until now obviously that was kind of up in the air in some of the games uh, sometimes you know getting through just by you know certain uh, lucky uh, let's say circumstances but um, Denmark on the other hand uh, you know we've seen some great playing today uh, Dobos we're saying Damsgaard once again um, and they seem to have it in them there's the spirit there's everything they got from the group stages um, and there's this communication between the players which clearly is working how far are they going to be able to go Let's see, but so far, obviously, getting to this stage, it's a massive, it's a massive success well, for them. Well, to let's be here. talk about that because Denmark's. Uh, let's look at Denmark's side of the draw. The Netherlands or uh, the Czech Republic are next for the Danes. Uh, can you see them uh, winning uh, that game and qualifying for the semi-finals? There's a. Uh, Denmark's side of the draw there. Yeah, I mean, I think we all know how, you know, the, the threat that the Netherlands do pose, especially what we've seen in their last few games um, on the attack. That's uh, what we were talking about the other day. That's a combination between Depay and Wijnaldum clearly working and getting stronger every time. So for Denmark, I mean, getting here is great. It's going to be obviously a massive challenge. I think it's going to be definitely a step up for them. Um, whatever happens, I think it's been successful for them uh, in the circumstances. And we saw how they finished uh, when they when they did qualify for the knockout round. Uh, that celebration towards the end of the match was tremendous. So clearly they're satisfied with what they've got. Next test to come, I'm not going to put my money, obviously, on, you know, on Denmark uh, right. right now. Be wary of the Danes, however, because they seem very strong.